The Kanto region has so many nice and relaxing areas, which gets me to thinking. If I was really on a Pokemon journey, what relaxing places would I want to go to to set up camp and take a rest? Well, that's just what we're here to find out. So, without further ado, here are my top 5 most relaxing places in the Kanto region. Number 5. Pewter City is one of the very first cities that you come across. It's a nice, quiet, peaceful little city that's located at the foot of a great rocky mountain. And yeah, it might be a city, but there's not exactly that many people that really live around here. So it's not really overcrowded or anything. It'd be a great place to come walk around, do some exercising, or just hang out with some friends. Like this slow poke here. See, this woman has the right idea. They're over here just standing around, Slowpoke's looking at some flowers, probably wondering if they're weighed so he can get stoned. And this woman over here is just staring at Slowpoke's butt for some reason. <laughs> it's a great place to just hang out with your Pokemon, take them for a walk, and just enjoy the peaceful scenery of the town. The town's also filled with a lot of benches, which is always nice to have while you're walking your Pokemon. They also have this amazing garden over here, where they grow some of the most beautiful flowers in Kanto. But that's not all they're growing, if you know what I mean. And we also have the Poke Mart. They got everything you could want in here. But that's not all that Pewter City has to offer. If you want something a little more interesting to do around town, there's also the Science Museum where you can go to check out some of the ancient Pokemon fossils, learn about the rocket ships, and check out some of the new technology as well. They also have a couch over there, and it looks really cozy. Perfect place for a nap. We also have freaking Brock. And who wouldn't want to hang out with Brock, am I right? And seeing as Pewter City is just right next to a forest as well, after enjoying a night on the town, I could see myself setting up a camp somewhere out here, and cooking myself up a nice hot meal. And for me, I always get really sleepy after I eat. So after that, it'd be time for me to go to sleep. I could just imagine myself laying back, listening to the relaxing crackle of the fire, and staring up at the stars as I fall into a nice, relaxing sleep. Number 4. Just outside of Pewter City, we have Viridian Forest. Now, Viridian Forest for me is a really nostalgic area. I remember going through this area for the very first time, hearing the music, and realizing just how big of a world that the Pokemon world was. The atmosphere of the forest is just a nice, relaxing, shaded area with just a bit of sunlight peeking through. There's also a lot of different pathways in the forest, so if you just want to go on a long walk or a hike or something and enjoy the scenery, then that's definitely something that I would do. You can even find these awesome mushrooms in the forest that'll have you tripping for days. And believe me, after eating these, there's no telling what crazy things you might see. And as you explore through the forest, you can find these big, huge trees where if you wanted to, you could just sit by one of the trees and read a book. And another good thing about being in the forest is that there's not that many people around. So if you're looking for some nice peace and quiet, then the forest is the perfect place. It's definitely the best place to go if you want to get away from it all. And if you just want to go out and camp somewhere, then Viridian Forest would be the perfect place for that too. There's this one specific spot in Viridian Forest that I would set up a camp at, which is this spot right here. This spot is just like perfect for me. It's just like a squared off little area with no bug Pokemon around, and you have this beautiful sunlight peeking through, and a nice big tree at your back. I could just see myself setting up a sleeping bag right there where the sunlight's hitting, laying back, looking up at the sky, doing some cloud watching, as I feel the nice breeze of the wind and the sound of the leaves blowing through the forest, making this the perfect place in the forest to take a nice, long, relaxing sleep. Number three. That's right, it's Mount Moon. And as you can see from the entrance of Mount Moon, I'm not the only one that thinks this place is relaxing. Cause Team Rocket's here too. And that's R&R. &R. You know what that stands for, rest and relaxation. And I'm not gonna lie, the main reason being is the music that plays in here. It's just really cozy. But there's also a lot of interesting things like the mystery of the Moonstones and the Clefairy. 
So there's always been this kind of ancient mystery, secret kind of vibe to this place as well. That's always kept it really interesting to me. The only annoying thing about this place would be all the Zubats trying to annoy the heck out of you. But other than that, this place is pretty chill. Number 2. That's right, for number 2 we have Fuchsia City. Now Fuchsia City is a really nice looking place, and it's filled with all kinds of fun things to do. Like if you're into going to the zoo, then they got you covered. You can walk around their little park area here, and see all kinds of different Pokemon. And these Pokemon, they're just enjoying themselves and having a good time. They even have benches over here. Son of a bench! Or if you want to, you can just sit and relax and watch the Pokemon play. If you can actually see anything. Because your view's being blocked by this freaking Kangaskhan. And that Kangaskhan is thick. And on the other side of the park, we have the swimming pool area. Where all the water type Pokemon go to take a swim. Except for this Psyduck over here, who looks like he's in deep thought. And did anybody else ever notice that the backside of Kabuto looks like the imprint of two butt cheeks? Like somebody sat on him or something? Or is that just me? Anyway, besides this little park area, the city itself is really nice looking, has a lot of nice looking homes, and of course there's the city gym as well. But when you actually go inside this gym, you might be very surprised by what you see. That's right, they smoking weed in here. I mean, just look at how dank that is. My god. They're smoking so much in here you can barely even see anyone. If I was around Fuchsia City, I'd definitely be hanging out here. But as for the area that I'd find to be most relaxing, that'd be this area that's just outside Fuchsia City. That's right, right here on this beach. And the first thing I'd do when I got on this beach is go surfing. But after that, I'd lay me out a nice beach towel, lay back on it, as I listen to the nice, soothing sounds of the waves. Number one. And for my number one, we have Vermilion City. That's right, it shouldn't really be a surprise to anyone that the city by the sea is perfect for me. Hey wait, that rhymed. To me, this is one of the most relaxing places in Kanto. And it always kind of has been. I mean, the city is known for its sunsets. How much more relaxing can you get than that? There's also fun things to do around the city, like checking out the Pokemon fan club. These people are a little too obsessed with Pokemon to the point to where they're kind of creepy. Like, I think this guy likes Rapidash a little too much. You know what I mean. But it would be a cool place to just meet other Pokemon fans and talk about how much we enjoy Pokemon, just not to this guy's level. Another relaxing activity you can do around town is fishing. Now you might just be able to get the old rod around here, but if there's one thing I know about fishing it's that it's really calming. Just cast out your line, sit back, enjoy the peace and quiet, and catch you some magic card. And just outside the city we have the docks. Now the docks are a perfect place to go and relax, cause you can just sit on the side of them, dip your toes in, and just enjoy the water. Vermilion City will always be the most relaxing area in the game to me. What places would you guys pick? Let me know in the comments section below. If you enjoy my content, then be sure and support the channel by donating to me on Patreon. The link to my Patreon will be in the description box below. And thank you to everyone that already supports me on Patreon. I appreciate your continued support very much. And if you don't have Patreon but you still want to support the channel, you can use the super thanks button below. If you enjoyed this video then be sure and leave a like, hit that subscribe button, ring the bell and set it to all to be notified of all my future uploads. Thank you all for watching, this has been Brandon and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.